According to reports from the Washington Free Beacon. China successfully carried out the fifth test of its WU-14 hypersonic glide vehicle from the Wurzai missile test range in northern China's Shanxi province on August 19, Pentagon officials said the WU-14, as it has been designated by the Pentagon, not only traveled along the edge of the atmosphere but also demonstrated evasive maneuvers during the latest test, the report said. This information indicates that the hypersonic glide vehicle was designed particularly for a potential war with the United States. The United States missile defense systems are developed to intercept missiles that follow predictable flight paths. They are unable to counter maneuvering warheads and glide vehicles. A defense official said the WU-14 is viewed as a serious emerging strategic threat that could complicate the United States nuclear deterrent efforts. Richard Fisher of the International Assessment and Strategy Center said that, the best defensive response to the United States is, is to speed up the development of its railgun technology. Laura Zarmin, another expert on hypersonic technology with experience studying in Beijing, said the two most recent WU-14 flights have been unprecedented, in terms of pace and frequency and that, the WU-14 is the latest in a qualitative arms race against the, the United States. The hypersonic glide vehicle is very likely to be designed to extend the range and flexibility of China's anti-access, area denial strategy beyond that of DF-21D anti-ship missiles, according to Zaman. If this conventional system is mounted to reach an intercontinental range then it could represent an effort to catch up with or even beat the United States to the punch on its own conventional prompt global strike aspirations, Zaman said. A WU-14 vehicle carrying a nuclear warhead would then become a direct threat to the United States homeland. Admiral Cecil Haney, commander of the United States Strategic Command, also indicated that hypersonic glide vehicles are new weapons that pose an emerging threat, according to the report.